Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I am going to show you a quick uh, uh, video on my solo method for playing Thunder Alley. Uh, there is an official uh, solo variant uh, where the, you have some minor AI for the cars, uh, but I prefer to play it, you know, playing all sides and um, uh, just making the best decision possible. Since it's Thunder Alley's card-driven game, I use this technique in a lot of card-driven games, with the exception of Combat Commander, which has a, a clear reliance on the cards for a, the timing mechanism, so that I just play as best I can. Um, however, in Thunder Alley, it's uh, it's pretty simple, applies very well. You see I've got my uh, custom cards set up on the board. Uh, this is the final heat. I did a three-volume, a three-race uh, series. Um, I did three teams um, for the first heat, three teams for the second heat, the top two in each advanced. And so now we're going to be, um, you know, this is the completion. So uh, four, to four cars per team. So you've got the four teams set up. The one difference I did is that they start in the position uh, that they finished in terms of points. So the black team had the most points in their heat, followed by red, then pink, then blue. And that's how I refer to them. I never think of looking at their actual names. So anyway, this dice means nothing. This is simply uh, used by me when I have to walk away. I'll put it on the team that's it reminds me whose turn it is. Because I don't ever, ever get to finish things in one sitting. Um, so what we have here, this is, our, this is a one round in. The, the race just started. Um, uh, all teams have moved one car, and I'll show you the process. This is how they ended up after their after their start. So what we have here is the draw decks, the race race card decks. Um, this is the draw pile. This is the ones that have been used, and these are the ones that were not used. Um, and you'll see how that works in a minute. So we've gone through one cycle uh, since it just started. Uh, Black is still the first first player. Um, and we'll just show how it works. So, uh, the first half of your cars for team will get to draw three cards from the race deck. They'll choose one to play. That's the one that'll they'll get played. The other two go into the reshuffle pile. And what I've decided to do for Thunder Alley is uh, after after this is depleted. Uh, then roughly a third of the cards will be here, two-thirds of the cards will be here. I'll reshuffle this pile, go back into here, continue drawing. I'll reshuffle this twice. When I've done this twice, then I reshuffle all the deck. So it basically keeps you from discarding cards just to not play them. They, they still will come back up, and they may not come up for your team. They may come up for the other team. But doing the draw three and uh, use one gives you a better... Um, there's no planning. There's... Here's the hand I'm dealt. What am I going to do with it? Which card can I make best use of this? Um, and then go from there. Nobody's holding any cards. You, you know, your plans are only as good as, as what you currently draw. So you're essentially just watching the race play out. And I have to admit, it's really fun. So I use this for uh, uh, No More 44 and the, that whole uh, Commands and Color series uh, type games. Um, I've used it for several other games. Uh, Ars Victor, um, just many, many, many games that rely on a card draw, especially games that where you have a finite number of cards, you don't want to burn through them, but at the same time you don't want them held so that you don't have perfect information as to what each side has. So, uh, and it's very easy to, when you take over one of the teams, to just say, what's the best scenario for pink at this moment without going, well, I'm rooting for blue, so I'm going to do whatever benefits blue because then you feel like you're cheating. So, anyway, well, uh, just show you how it works real quick and how I use it with, uh, I still use the car markers, and I'll show you how that works, because uh, that lets me know who's actually gone. So, 28 has already made his move, and uh, the ones that are still flipped to white have not been moved. So, so we'll draw three cards. It's for black. So, we got a uh, draft movement six. So, we have to focus here. We've got a clean air, which you know has no wear penalty. And then finally, got another 
draft six. Okay, so those are essentially the same, and I've got a solo movement. Well, we're early in the race. I don't really want to break loose and go solo. So, and this actually works out good because black here has three cards in this line. So the draft movement will push this whole line forward, which is what we want to do. So we will just take these two cards. And put them back in the reshuffle pile because they've not been actually played. We take this car here. And so I have a choice here between 66, 19, and 70. And those are all three in this line. So what I will do here is I'll give it to 70 because I might get a lead or I might get a pursuit. So 70 can definitely do a draft. And so we'll use that. So what do I do? So I take 70's marker. I put it on the card. I go ahead and move over to my tray. Take the wear marker that it's going to get. Put it on the card. And then facilitate the move. So 70, this whole line is going to move. Uh, we got six. So one, two, three, four, six. And I'll take into that slot. And then we're going to move. Sorry about being so shaky. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's how it happened. Let me put my leader car over here on 25, but that matters right in a second. But we're keeping the pack kind of together. So that's it. So then when I'm done, I can take the 70 marker off, and then I flip it into its card, take the wear marker, and put it on there as well. Now I know that they're done. So then you're going to go through all the teams, first half of the cars. So if you're using six cars, it'd be the first three cars. If you're using five cars, it'd be the first three cars. If you're using four cars or three cars, it'd be the first two cars. They get to draw three, pick one. The last half of the cars will get to use two cards and pick one. And this simulates the fact that your hand's been dwindling uh, and you're not going to have a lot of choices. So it does make it advantageous sometimes to play a card for a um, uh, a car early especially one when you get when you get it you may say well I gotta I, I need to use this this is this is this best chance I may not get it later or I'm gonna go into my two card cycle in which case I need to you know make sure he gets you know bird in the hand he got the card he needed so you need to play it so uh, I'm gonna do paint uh, red here got a Set the pace, which I don't like. I don't like to use permanent wear early. Working the pack, that's a good card to have. And I've got a pursuit movement fast pace. So let's look at red situation. I got 41, 29, and 25 that can go. 41 and 29 are in this line. 25 is the current leader. Um, what do I want to be solo movement? He could just really ram up to the front, but he could do pursuit. He could do pursuit and catch his team up. So I think we're going to do that one here. Get some speed out of the way. Take these two cards. Put them in the unused pile. Take this one, and we are going to give it to 42. He's going to do the pursuit. Oh no, 42 can't do it. Uh oh, I think he's back. We think our position because we don't want to leave our team behind. Um, it's not a good situation for 25 to do lead because the best he could do is pull this group. He couldn't pull his team. 41 could do lead, but he's going to burn all that, all those points. It's three points to knock him forward because it's lead. Um, hmm. Interesting choice here. So we are going to um, 29 to go one, two, three, four. So working the pack says that I, the active car can exchange places directly, that it's directly behind for one. So basically he's just going to burrow past all these cars and they're all going to come back. So he would maintain the the line here 
excuse me, he would come back. He would maintain the line. He would basically just switch places with 28, and everybody would switch back, which would keep him in line so that hopefully uh, uh, 41 will get a card that he could use. Um, yeah. Well, these decisions are what made this game so incredibly awesome. Uh, I think we're going to do that. So we'll work the pack and hope for the next next set of cards. So even if there's no wear, I'd like to take care of it. So 29 is going to move up. Essentially, it's going to 1, 2, 3, 4. And all these people, he's just exchanging places one after the other. And it says he can exchange it multiple times in the same turn. So he just basically rotated that, that shift. So 29 has been used. That card is out of play for, me, for now. Now we'll move on to pink. So we have a pursuit six, a draft six, and a lead seven. Pink's situation is he spread into all three lanes. Um, lead is only calculated at the beginning. You admit you have to pull everything. Uh, pursuit, you can move first. Um, in fact, he will do that. We'll see. Can we give that to 26? Yeah, 26 is still available. So we'll do the pursuit movement. Yeah. yeah let's do the pursuit. Pursuit drafts also in this situation. So. All right, so he's got six points, and he'll get a fuel wear when this is over. And 26 is going to move. He's going to move over for two. One, two. He's got four left, and he's going to push this whole line forward. And there's no restrictions on which choice he makes, so he, he's going to shift this one. No. No, he's going, to, he's going to take this one, and that way this guy could possibly be pulled two. It pushes 25 forward, but that's no big deal. So we did two. We've got four left. So this this whole line here is going to move forward four. One, two, three, four. Keep him on the outside. One, two, three, four. Four. Oh, okay. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. Four. No, maybe he can hook back up with maybe twenty can get in there somehow. All right. So there that goes. So twenty six is gone. Flips over. It's a wear marker. That card goes to the used pile. So we'll finish this round here with blue. Move on three cards. I just leave them because I like to snap them. And normally I don't snap them, normally I just draw them in my hand, but since I'm holding a camera, I can't do that either. All right, so we've got a pursuit, and he gets to move extra towards the apron, draft. And draft with no lateral. The one has no damage, but we're just starting. It's a temporary damage. Won't be necessarily too bad. So blue has. Somehow I messed up. I don't know which car I moved with blue last time. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? So now I gotta figure out which car I moved. That'll be fun. I really have no idea. I think it was four. No, nope. we'll just say it's four. I'm not even looking. We'll just say it's four. Oh, well, you know what we'll do? We'll just roll a die. All right. So uh, one through three, four through six. Okay. One through three, four through six. So I roll it's nine. Hopefully that's right. I mean, you know, I played that hand uh, last night, so I really have no idea who it was. So sometimes you just work things out. 
So anyway, uh, so we're looking at 4, 12, and 15. 4, 12, and 15 on the board. 15 is by himself. He needs to get back in the pack. 12 is not in line with anybody that he could push. 4 and 9 are in line with each other. But I think we want to get 15 try to connect up with this line here so that if, uh, if 4 can move, he can he can pull him around. Um, and we don't want to leave cars behind if we can help it. Um, we'll see what our choices are here. So Pursuit, he would go... He could move five. Actually, he could ensure that he'd be part of that line. One, two, three, four. And then the pursuit would kick in. They push. Actually, they could disconnect him right there. Um, he could pursue one, two, three, four, five. Reconnect with this group, but then they wouldn't be with anybody. The option, the other two options are draft. So I think what we'll do is we'll save save him. Take 15, give him the draft one with no wear penalty. So we just go back into the mix. So he's just going to draft four. And he can make no lateral movement. That's fine. So he's just going one, two, three, four. And now he's at least hooked four moved here. He's at least hooked back up with the line. Sorry about that. I'm not used to handling the camera. Uh, okay, so 15 went. Do that hard this time. And that card got played. So anyway, then you proceed. Now it'd be the next round. Uh, uh, so we would come back over here. Now we've done half our cards. So now 19 and 66 only get uh, two cards. So you'll draw two cards, figure out which card to move, um, and go from there. And then what I, what I allow is when a car is out of the race for injury or finished, uh, well, if he's finished the race, it wouldn't matter, but uh, he's out of the race for wear or something or uh, removed by an event. Then you uh, you can draw the cards for your hand. <clears throat> you, you draw the cards, and then you can decide if you're going to skip. So if you draw and say none of these work, then you're allowed to skip a car because you have fewer cards than the other cards, and that simulates uh, the ability to skip in the game um, because you have more cards in your hand. So... Uh, uh, you still draw uh, in the regular game you'll still draw the same number of cards that you would have uh, at the start of the race so you have more options for the remaining cars so uh, anyway I hope that explains it pretty well I, I paused a little bit on there but uh, uh, it really just makes this game fun I mean it just uh, allows you to sit and just you know like just play it out and you're getting to make all the moves anyway so you just get a feel for um, what exactly is uh, the best choice each time it comes like a little quick puzzle. Not a lot of uh, analysis paralysis because you only got three cards you got to deal with. You're not worried about holding cards and saying, well, maybe I should hold on to that and planning three moves ahead because in this game, everything changes. Some guy knocks you out, uh, knocks you back. Uh, your plans just go out the window. So this way you draw fresh and uh, uh, for each car and uh, play how you how you think best. So anyway, hope this helps. Uh, Thanks for watching. Bye.